Okay, so in yesterday's video, I showed this 14 inch monitor running various operating systems on Raspberry Pi, and I put a load of other things through it. One thing I didn't do was uh, make it completely portable. So this is now running off battery power uh, with a Raspberry Pi 4, running Android 11, and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so I'm just gonna shut it down. Uh, now, normally with Constacang's builds, you would use a keyboard, but uh, in this case, I put a power button on the desktop, which has made it a lot easier. So let's spin it around. You can see it's still shutting down. And now it's ready to unplug. So not the most elegant of tablets, but uh, I just wanted to do it as a sort of proof of concept really and, and to see how it would work. So this particular monitor, I had a comment on my previous video about uh, someone who bought one of these before and they didn't have visa mounts. This has got four holes, 75 millimeters apart. I've only used two of them. I've used um, these opposing ones here um, to attach this board. And then I've used, uh, this is from my Raspberry Pi cluster case. Uh, and basically it's got holes to mount a pie on it and I've mounted it with some risers so it's not sort of touching the base of it on it so it keeps it a little bit cooler. Then I've just adhesive that to the board uh, with some sort of GoPro mounts that I had. Uh, this battery, uh, this battery pack is excellent. It's a really, really cool battery pack. I've showed it in previous videos. I used it with my camera video. It's got a little percentage monitor on it and it just seems to have really good power. The, to think that this can power a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, and also the touchscreen monitor at the same time and it hasn't come up with any low power warnings on any of the systems I've tried. Uh, I thought I was going to have to undervolt the Pi but I didn't have to. So these cables could obviously be a lot better. So cables wise I'm using an HDMI mini uh, which, is go which is quite a long cable that came with it uh, but that ends up here and then I've got an HDMI female to HDMI micro which plugs into the Pi. Then I've got my power. The power's really easy because it's just a very short USB-C cable that plugs into the power bank. And the power bank has got uh, various different outputs as well. You can charge it through USB-C. Uh, you can power from USB-C. And if I just press the button, again, it comes up with the monitor there. The other cable I've got is this USB-C uh, to A cable, which also came with the monitor. Uh, so USB-C. I've wound it around and plugged it into one of the USB 3 sockets and that's what supplies it with touch. So you need that cable for touch, you need this one to power the whole lot. Um, so basically the Pi is ending up uh, from its USB socket powering the monitor. So it's, I, I, as I say, I was, I was amazed that it worked as well as it did. Right, so let's plug it in and then I can spin it around. It is, it's proper heavy, as you can imagine with a power bank. Uh, it is a lot of weight to it. But you can see if I spin it around, put it on its back, and you can see it's starting up Android. I'm gonna move it over to my desk now just because it's easier to use and be on camera at the same time. And I'm just propping it up against a Chromebook. Uh, this is my Acer Chromebook, which is a great prop for a stand. Not the cheapest stand. Now, so I mentioned the power button. That's really handy because it allows you to power off the Pi uh, from Android with touchscreen without having to have a keyboard or anything like that. But I've also plugged in this one, which is uh, it's great. It, it's a way of uh, rotation control. Uh, so it comes up in the notification center and you can make it boot with this in the notification center, which is what I've done. So if I wanna flip it upside down, I can, and then flip it around the right way. But I can also put it into portrait mode and I can reverse that portrait mode. Now, that's quite important because I've got cable sticking out of the underside of, uh, so in this mode, I've got cable sticking out the underside of the screen. So that's not ideal. Uh, but let's go back to normal mode. So if I'm using it as a tablet and I'm holding it, because of where the cables are in the mount, I actually put it upside down. Uh, and so I'd, I'd pick it up and flip it round. So very useful. Um, and I'll, well, let's go into the Play Store and have a look at those two apps to see what they are because it must come up in under installed. So my apps and games installed. So yeah, rotation control is one of them and uh, shutdown no root uh, is the other. And they, they are great. They don't work for everything. Um, but as I sh if I show you here, so someone like cut the rope, uh, if I open that. So you can see ideally we'd want to play this in uh, portrait mode. So let's call down the notification center. Let's put it on probably that one. No, it's actually that one. 
and you can see it's at the top of the tablet. It doesn't seem to make it go right. There is a way of, of changing it. It says about restarting to go full screen, but it never works. So you can see here, now I've come out of that mode. Uh, this is all wrong. So what I need to do is slide down from the top and pop it on that one. Yeah. Uh, but some games work perfectly well. Uh, this one works in landscape anyway. Uh, and this is like a GTA game. This is a some sort of beta game, but it's great. I was I've been really impressed by this. I don't quite know what I've got to do on it, um, but uh, you can get in and out of cars. You can run around. You can do all sorts of things. So basically, we've got a joystick on the left, uh, and we can move around, look around our house. You can see here, save point there. But let's go outside and you can see there's a van there I think you can just drive vehicles normally yeah look, we've got a door thing here and then power <laughs> it actually works all right I'm surprised at how well this works I don't know what the um, handbrake's like <laughs> not the best oh of course all sorts of problems here but you can take people on, you can get weapons. I was in trouble with the police earlier on. I don't know if this guy's going to be friendly. He's friendly. And you can also, you can change your weapon. Hand grenade. Oh, what's going on, what's going on? What? I, just, I had no idea what was going on there. Just throw a grenade. <laughs> oh, getting arrested. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's money there. And there's my baseball bat. So have I Have I been arrested? Ah, oh, look, lose the cops, look. Right, so he's after me now. I don't know if I'm faster at running than him. So hopefully I can get in this car and leg it. Football, look. Oh, what happened? Anyway, uh, worth a look at, and uh, I actually thought it was pretty cool. So this game does play in portrait mode. Uh, so race IO, if I drag down, I think it's that one. Yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, so here's an example of uh, if I was to hold it up, I've got the cables at the bottom here. So I need that to go the opposite way around. So uh, it must be that one in portrait. Let's pull the camera back a bit. And here you can see it is full screen. This is very hard to do behind a camera at arm's length, but you can see that it's showing uh, full screen and uh, you'll see that it works well as well. Quite an enjoyable game. But nice to see it in proper portrait mode. So let's quit out of that. And then we have this issue, so pull down and uh, then just put it into that normal mode and then we can pop it like that. And obviously things like uh, the Play Store works fine. The Play Store works in portrait or, or landscape mode absolutely fine, works really nicely. Also the web browser was absolutely fine as well. As you can see, the website comes up fine. All the touch control, I mean, it is Android, so it's, it's designed first for touch, so you would expect it to work nicely, and it definitely does. Right, so let's try another OS. So let's shut that down. So it's not the easiest to get to the SD card slot, but it is, it is uh, accessible. Pop another SD card in there. Obviously, I can use um, USB if I want to as well. There you go, so that's in. Once that's in, I need to unplug the USB-C and then plug it back in again. And you can see that it starts booting up. So now we can spin it around. So here we've got Fido OS. Uh, because I haven't got a mouse and keyboard attached to it, it automatically detects touchscreen and works fine with that. And so because Fido OS is based on Chrome OS, it works like a Chromebook does. Um, so everything is pretty much the same. So you have a full web browser, um, and uh, all the tabs and all the usual things that you would expect to have a, on a full operating system. This is running in 1080, I was running Android in 720. Uh, you do get better performance at 720 on the Pi, 
in a lot of cases. But as you can see on this, the web browser is fine. Uh, if I was to go into YouTube, and here we are in full screen, and it's working nicely. So let's come out of that, and let's go down the touch screen side of it, really. Uh, was there any apps? Oh yeah, so I put something like Angry Birds on there just to show that it's working in touch. I haven't played Angry Birds for ages. Uh, it's still installing loads of things, or Amazon Prime Video, all sorts of things in there. So let's see how this is on a nice big screen. Yeah, it looks pretty decent, it's pretty pretty responsive. This 8-ball pool is quite good as well. Let's see if there's anything on here that might go. Or oh, as a long shot, it's almost queued up. So none of these are overclocked, deliberately not overclocking, because obviously I don't want to use any extra power from the Pi. Uh, so let's shut that one down, and uh, Chrome OS works very well with touch again. Everything is, you know, the keyboard comes up when you need it. Uh, things like power and things like that, you'd have to do anything different. So Ubuntu has some touchscreen support, but it's uh, it's a bit patchy and, and certain things work better than others. Um, it, uh, things like Firefox as a web browser, when you're trying to scroll the page, it selects text and various things like that. So yeah, not, not the best experience. Oh, it looks like I've got to double tap that. So on something like this YouTube page, if you wanted to scroll, you can see that it doesn't actually scroll. Uh, it just selects text and various things. So it's a bit bit of a strange experience. You, you might be able to change this in the settings. I haven't gone into it, but it's straight out the bat, not the most touch friendly interface. But Raspberry Pi OS is definitely more touch friendly and does seem to work a bit better. Uh, so when we call things up on the web browser, I mean, obviously this is Chromium and Chromium is, uh, is a good touch based operating system. So all the scrolling and everything does what you would expect it to do. So you can see Windows 10 works very well with touchscreen straight off uh, and also there is the proper tablet mode as well that you can uh, use that gives you that sort of Windows 8 style. So if I expand that and go for tablet mode and then we get all our tiles up here uh, and you can rearrange things and move things around like that. So, uh, so yeah, I've been impressed with it really. Now, realistically, I wouldn't use this very much like it is just because it is very heavy it's quite awkward and there's things sticking out the back of it but i just wanted to see if it was doable if it would work let's just change the angle to look at the back of it again and uh, so you can see all the cabling and everything now really what i would do uh, is not have this on the back of the tablet because it is heavy and if you're not going to have that on the back of the tablet you might as well not have the pie on the back of the tablet so really uh, if you had these two together in a case or block together or on some sort of uh, some sort of mount then uh, you would just have a long cable to the screen and then you just got the weight of the screen because the screen is super light and then it would be much nicer to use as a tablet but anyway i hope you like this hope it helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe